so it is bright and early Monday morning, probably about eight o'clock. I am just about to head out to UPS to drop off some packages and then go thrifting. So hit that like and subscribe button. We're gonna be in Shillington today and probably a couple of other places. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how Shillington is. All right, let's go thrifting. Let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. So I'm sure you guys recognize this store. Now I haven't been here probably in about a week, 10 days, something like that. I've been going to a few of the other stores. So I'm always excited to get back into a store when I haven't been here for a while. A couple of the other resellers are saying they're not finding too much at this location. Oh, so nice and cool. It is a balmy day today. Very humid out, but the store has its AC pumping. So I think they just opened. It's probably about 9 a.m., maybe a little bit after. And already I see a new record close down there out. So we're gonna hit that first. This store is huge and they put out a lot of inventory. Oh, color of the week. Yellow, 50% off Wednesday through Monday. $2 each on Tuesday. Okay, so today is Monday. So it's gonna be 50% off. Okay, so I didn't find anything on that rack. That might have been out for a while. I'm not sure if this store puts out inventory on the weekends. I'm gonna to have to check on that. So right now, I'm gonna be really trying to locate yellow tags because they're gonna be half price. Yellow tags are probably about five weeks old on the floor. I like this skirt. This is Talbot's. Oh, that's super cute, 650, a little bit high, and it doesn't really look like a great size. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to show when I look through the new racks because the employees are working and you never like to get in their way. Oh, this is cute. Chloe Oliver, I don't know who that is. Tiny, tiny little Chloe Oliver. What else do we see? I might have to do a voiceover for this because this music is very loud. Liz Claiborne. I never pick up Liz Claiborne. Jansen. All right, so right now I am looking for skirts with really trendy prints, maybe outdoor clothing, something for hiking or something like that. Athletic clothing, meaning skirts, golf skirts. Um, sometimes I look for vintage items like this. This print I'm not that crazy about, but I do like the pleatedness of it. Very English. There are two of them here. Maybe the same person donated. Uh, what else do I look for? A lot of times the skirts that I'm finding are very outdated, kind of frumpy, and I stay away from those. I want a skirt that really could, you know, be worn by somebody who has a hip sense of style, whether it be a vintage one or a newer one. Okay, let me see what this is. Nope, I could tell right away, no good. I don't even know what this says. Exhilaration, which is Walmart, Target, something like that. Okay, tucked in the skirt section, North Face jacket. Oh, I always check the cuffs. Right here you can see staining a little bit. And what color tag is this? Black, that means it just came out. $4.99, that's not bad. I might take this because Roger's gonna meet up with me later and he likes the athletic jackets like that. Not that I don't, but I don't know that I would pick that one up. All right, I'm gonna briefly start down the jacket and sweater sweatshirt aisle. Now, as you can see, I don't look through every item because the store is so big, it would take way too much time. So what I do is just look at the edges of things, trying to judge if I see something quality. Now, could I be missing something? Absolutely but I'm trusting my eye to pick it out. Hopefully that works out. I'm sure I miss a lot, but to look at every single piece would take me probably 10 hours in this whole store. So I don't have that kind of time today, but I do like to go up and down every aisle, hit every section at least once, if not twice. Who is this, Kirkland? 
Okay, so we don't want that. FH Boxcraft. I don't know what the FH is. It's kind of like a teddy bear pullover. Okay, so let's go on to the other side. Ugh, black. Oh, this is kind of cool. Hard Rock Cafe Singapore. I don't know, the Hard Rock Cafes really sit in my store for a long time. I don't think I'm even gonna bother to comp that. Could be a mistake. What else? Fringe. Oh, this is vintage. I can tell right away because there's a shoulder pad in it. RSB. I'm not crazy about that colorway though, so I'm not gonna go with that. I do pick up vintage sweaters. Sometimes when they were like ridiculous, makes it more fun. Under Armour. Look at how faded that tag is. So I would not pick that up. Looks like it's had a lot of wash wear. Is it pullover 1520? I don't know who that is. So this is how fast I normally go up and down the aisle. Now, if it seems like there's a lot of good stuff, you know, if my eye is spotting, then I do take time to go up and down um, and look at every item, but mostly, mostly not. Okay, a velvet jacket, Coldwater Creek, extra large, $7.99. Okay, so this is gonna be half price. Paisley jacket, let's take a look at the armpits and the cuffs. A lot of times I'm checking for stains and rips, any kind of dirt, a lot of excess wear. Looks good, this one's going in the cart, very pretty. Okay guys, I got excited for a moment. Johnny Max, it tricked me because I just saw a little bit of it. It's not really Johnny Was color. I don't know who makes this. Okay, it's green tags, so it's not on sale. Johnny Max. All right, I'm gonna have to comp this. I'm gonna pull the hanger down too in case I need to put it back. All right, and right now I'm gonna hop over to the hard goods section. Yep, right in the middle of thrifting clothing, going through the racks, I will hop over to hard goods to see what's going on. Up, oh, skip that idea. <laughs> I see new carts out. Let's take a look at new carts. There's no employees near them right now, so we could take a look at them together. So I park my cart right over here, hop across, and let's take a look at new racks. Okay, so I've hopped over to Hard Goods, and right away I'm noticing these very heavy brass rings all tied together. No idea what these are used for. Let's take a look at these. I have no idea what this is for. If you know what this is, leave a comment down below. I, this is a mystery to me. Is it to a candle or something? Well, they're all together. Maybe this is where you capture the brass ring. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm gonna leave those behind. I have no idea what those are. And I really don't feel like researching brass rings right now. There's a big wooden Santa sitting on the top shelf. Feels like wood. Up, oh, Marshalls, an older tag, $15. Kind of cute. Some heavy wooden trays or plates. This one has damage. These seem to be vintage. I'm gonna stick this one up here so we can look at the other ones. Wow, that's kind of nice. Square plate, does have some wear. Oh, there we go, handcraft. Caribbean handcraft. Huh, they want $3 for it, but it does have some pretty significant scratches on them. So I'm gonna leave those behind, but put the three together in case somebody else wants to deal with them. Okay, I have never seen this before. Seems to be an ice bucket, $4.99 with a horse head on top and stirrups on the sides. That's kind of cute, mini, mini ice bucket. We might do that for $5, definitely vintage. I don't see any marking on it, little buckles. Very cute. The horse head is plastic, so it's not like it's a high-end item, but that would be adorable on somebody's bar. Okay, so the employees are putting carts away and I thought this just got put on the shelf. I thought this was glass. It tricked me. It is plastic. But truth be told, I almost like this. What is this for? $1.99. Seems to be a tag inside. Let's see if I can pull the tape off. It looks like somebody else might have done this before me. 
Well, they really have this thing taped. But I see a sticker inside and I want to know what the sticker says. Come on, Goodwill. Goodwill is so funny. You know, they cover up the branding. They tape things closed. Up, oh, it's from a yard sale. It says $1. Okay, but that is kind of pretty. I think I'm going to wait, though. Put it back. If that was glass, I would have picked it up. All right, we're going to take a gander down the green aisle. Oh, look at this fun wine jug. That looks like an old one. What does that say? It says something on the bottom. Okay, I almost like that. I'm not sure I'm gonna take it. Let me see if I can see the writing on the bottom of what that says. It's very, very faint. Hmm, no idea. Made in USA. All right, I'm gonna have to look up vintage wine bottle. Made in USA. <laughs> so that's going in the cart. Let's see what else we can find. Green glass is such a conundrum for me. The minute I say, oh, I don't pick up green glass, I don't like it, I'll find beautiful green glass. This one's pretty, I like this color. And yes, I do have the flashlight that shows you if green glass glows or not. And I always forget to bring it with me. I got so much going on in my handbag now, but I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, I do like this. This looks to be like a piece made in Portugal from Ross though. $2.99. Now, I don't know if the yellow tag counts at half price. Uh, I would imagine it does, and I almost like this. It looks like, like a Portugal tile, tile from Portugal. Kind of pretty, but I think because it has the raw sticker, I'm going to leave that behind. Okay, so I don't pick up too much furniture in this store, but these are capturing my attention definitely a reproduction of an older style very interesting 1999 i think that's for the two chairs and they definitely have that antique style but uh definitely more modern okay lots of abstract artwork coming out this is capturing my attention that is quite nice i really don't want to deal with large pieces but if i was i would pick this up the frame shows that some money was put into this piece. Now it is a print. Is this a print? I'm feeling a little bit of texture, but I think it's a print. And it's got some damage over here, some scratching. But the colors are beautiful. I think this is really well done. Let's see what the back is like. Okay, so it was professionally framed. Okay, so the artist is Reeves, Evening Tide. I did try to look up the last name. Quite a few artists come up with that last name. I'm going to leave it behind, but very interesting. So this is a tag that I was happy to find, Rain Spooner. The only problem is I like when I find these shirts in a very batik type print. As you can see, even the buttons are branded, but I'm on the fence of whether to pick up a solid, you know, just no print. I think I'm going to put these back. But when I find this tag, this is usually always a yes, but like I said, when it has a print on it. And there's actually two of them, one 3XL and one extra large. So 99% sure I'll put these back. But if you find this brand, this is a really good brand when it has a good print. So looking at the basket end cap, I think some of these just got put out. Little apple shaped basket. And what is this called? Eye of God, I think. This is adorable. I forget what these are called, little Polynesian basket. This has captured my attention. Now I'm not saying that it's definitely good, but I love this curlicue trim. It looks like each reed was curled over itself. That's quite nice, $2.99. I might think about that one. I think I could get probably 15 for it, if not more. So we're gonna put that one in the cart. Okay, am I seeing anything else? What is this one under here? No marking. Going along in the linens aisle, and I see this embroidered velvet jacket, Susan Graver style. Generally, I do not pick up Susan Graver, but it is yellow tag beautifully embroidered so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart I kind of wish it was like an extra large 
but and I will run comps before I make the decision. But for under three dollars, definitely yes. So before you think I'm a crazy person for picking up Susan Graver's style, just know that very rarely do I pick up this brand. I'm going to insert some comps to kind of prove my point. If you're buying in at $3, it's okay to flip for $20, hopefully $30. This one's in beautiful shape. And when I see embroidery like this, I think other people like it too. Birds, flowers, beautiful style. And I'm convinced that I can get at least $19.99, which won't profit me a lot of money, but it's a good solid bread and butter. Pottery Barn Kids Corduroy Quilt. Lots of damage, unfortunately, and lots of wear. Sometimes if I'm unsure of how old the item is, I will go ahead and look for the tag, you know, the label, to see how much wash wear it, or wear itself is on the label. Look at this label. This blanket has been loved. <laughs> There's no writing left. Unfortunately, that is a no-go, but so cute, so well made, and some child loved this very much. Okay, so this just got put out on the shelf. Seems like it's an embossed brass treasure chest. I don't know how old it is. It's definitely a reproduction. No treasure inside. But I'm definitely going to pull this down and take a look. Very heavy and it's very cool. I don't know about shipping on this. Probably UPS or FedEx. But most likely I'm going to put it in the cart. Okay, a hands dish. Looks to be truly old, cast iron, painted. Might have been painted after the fact, but I'm not sure about that. I don't see a price tag on it, but we're gonna put it in the cart and bring it up front and see if we can get a price on it. Where am I fitting this? <laughs> got the normal craziness going on. We got some vintage games. Clothing is under there. The ice bucket I held on to. The curly willow basket I put back and we still have the treasure chest. All right, I'm gonna close my handbag just for you guys. Oh, what is this here? Little glass bowls with a polka dot design. Oh, some of the polka dots are missing their paint. Womp womp, <laughs> those were kind of cute. What is this? Napkin rings, tag. I guess tag is the brand. Easter eggs, $3.99. All right, I'm going back over to clothing. Today's just a hopping game, hopping back and forth because both departments are slow to put out inventory. So instead of wasting time, I will just run back and forth between the two. Okay, so we are in the men's suit and sport coat aisle. Yes, it has come to that. <laughs> and I just found this brand, made in Italy, Armani Collezioni, made in Italy. Beautiful, fine wool, single-breasted sport coat. And what do they want for this? I'm imagining this will bring a solid 50 to 60, $7.50. That's a keeper. This sport coat, just noticing if it has damage or not, a little bit of damage there, so I won't be picking it up, but I figured I'd make mention of this. This is Chaps by Ralph Lauren. So there is the branding. I'd rather see just Ralph Lauren. I'd rather see the purple or the black label. Brass buttons. So it's got the four buttons on the cuff. Single breasted. And like I said, you have to be really careful with these jackets because most of them are wool or a lot of them are wool and they will have moth damage if they're vintage. So always check here, um, London shop. Eastern Pennsylvania. Always check for moth damage on your wool jackets. Here's a two-piece suit, $14.95. First thing I noticed, made in Turkey. I like to see made in France, made in USA, made in Italy, but made in Turkey. This is like a chambray um, sport coat and trouser. Boss Hugo Boss. I kind of like this chambray look. Not that that means anything. It does have a couple of flaws. The stain on the lapel. It is a notched lapel. Notched meaning that it has this V cut out of it. But I really like the chambray look to it. I'm gonna go ahead and run a comp on this. And sizing is usually in the breast pocket. 
So this has France, UK, and DE. Not sure what DE is. And I'm looking for United States. Am I looking right at this? Not quite sure. I'm gonna have to dig a little bit deeper. A lot of times there'll also be two tags in the pocket. So I am not seeing the US. I'm probably looking right at it. France and DE. Italy, up. Oh, I am looking right at it. US 42 regular. All right, so I'm gonna run a comp on this and just put in like chambray men's Hugo Boss suit jacket and see if I can find anything. Okay, so I'm standing here running a comp for this chambray suit and this is what I'm coming up with. Blazer 40 regular, $75.99. I believe this one is new. So I'm probably gonna leave this one behind, not seeing any comps for it. I'm not sure if this is a find or not. It is the mint green 1960s Coleman cooler with the metal clasping latches. All right, let's see if we can get this open. Oh, it even has that, whoops, the sliding tray. I'm surprised that's not hinged. Looks like it needs a good clean out. Too big to ship but I thought this was cool and I would show it to you guys. I am gonna leave this behind because my cart is starting to be not what I want it to be, but very cool, fine 1960s mint green. So besides the pirate chest and the billionaire Parker Brothers game, these came out and I had to grab them quick. These are billiard or pool ball Genuine vintage drinking glasses. We got two sets of the highballs and one set of the rocks. Look how good these are. Now, hopefully the tape that Goodwill has put on them will not peel the paint off. So I will soak the tape off in my kitchen sink filled with water and hopefully they will be okay. Great find and I'm not seeing a price. I know there's a price here somewhere. I think they were $7, $7,6.99 for the set. Okay, so I think they are $6.99 for the set. And super thrilled with this fine. How fun are these? Up oh, $3.99. Great price. Okay, it's turning into one of those days. A Chinese lacquered box. This is quite heavy. Beautiful. $19.99. Now, I'm not saying it's super old. It's a reproduction, of course, but this is really nice. I wonder who sold this. This is not inlay, I don't think. It's kind of like this has been dremeled out and then painted. But boy, that's nice. Do I want that? I think I almost do. Let's see what the other side looks like. Oh, pretty, pretty. I might have to get this. Okay, I gotta get another shopping cart. Okay, so round two, I went to the register and paid for the prior cart that you saw with the big chest and everything. And now I'm getting serious about clothing. So most of this is clothing. I met up with Roger, we had lunch and we're putting things in the cart. And then I said, oh, let me just look at hard goods. <laughs> So we see this lampshade and thank goodness it's broken. Not that I don't want anybody else to have it, but I really don't want to pick up big lampshades, but look how pretty this one is. But Roger pointed out it's broken and I said, oh, thank God. <laughs> and we both started cracking up. Very pretty, Art Deco style, but it's modern. Okay, <laughs> so this Radio Shack Discovery 1000 came out. I'm gonna run a comp on that because who doesn't need a metal detector? And then I saw this cat. Look at his eyes. He's got like two different eyes. Now I'm not gonna get him, but truth be told, he is drawing my attention. Gustin? Gustin, hand decorated, made in USA. Doesn't look like he's especially well made. He's not a quality cat. And his eyes are two different eyes. Okay, so I'm just about finishing up. Got a cartload of clothing, did fairly well. And I wanted to talk about this piece, Wanacomb. I've never heard of Wanacomb before. 
but I saw it on the rack and thought, wow, that looks like something. And when you look, the zipper tabs are all branded. The drawstring is branded. Pocket is branded. Where else? The snap is branded. And when you turn it around, the hood is branded. When you see that much branding, usually, usually that means you've got a really good item. I'm gonna insert comps here so we can take a look at what sell-through rate is for Wanacomb. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.